Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Happy Monday. It's Monday again. What do you know? Well, uh, the market is, um, you know, trying to find itself today here, I think, after a massively big week last week, uh, to the upside anyway. So, yeah, uh, I pulled back a little bit. I'm recording this just after lunchtime here in Chicago. Uh, but this is kind of an important week because what there, there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, one of the things that started going on last week is just this recycling into what a lot of people just call Trump trades. And that are that is stocks and industries that are expected to do better once Trump takes office. And we're seeing a lot of really really big moves um, based on that. We talked a little bit about this last week. Uh, for example, Arch, A-R-C-H, let's take a look at that one, which makes uh, coal, uh, metallurgical coal. And um, that is an industry that's likely to benefit by the new administration taking office. Uh, as well as, and you know, we talked about geo last week as well. We talked about a few of those things. So those trades are continuing to play out and it, this is the week to make your decision if you're going to play them or not. Now, the next things that we need to look at this week is that we have CPI and PPI uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And we have the regular Thursday unemployment. And we have a lot of Fed speakers this week. Now, all that being said, looking at the unemployment and the inflation numbers this week, uh, how does that play into expectations for future interest rates? Well, right now, the market is pricing in about a two-thirds chance for a 25 basis point cut that's based on the CME Group um, Fed Funds target rate. And so that number will fluctuate. Uh, the, the percent likelihood will fluctuate between now and that December 18th meeting based on numbers that are coming out like this. So there's really a lot to look at from the perspective of individual stocks and the market as a whole. Hope that helps. This is Dan Passerelli, Trade Smart.